The picture of a maid carrying a soldier's full pack has got Singaporeans buzzing about whether our boys have gotten soft. The debate is fueled too by this picture posted on Stomp on the 8th of April, which shows a soldier in uniform carrying his girlfriend's handbag. And a picture of a man in a camouflage skirt, apparently made from an old number 4 uniform, posted on Stomp on the 6th of April. We asked our studio guests if they feel Singaporean men are getting soft. Okay, in my opinion, no. No, it's not just a matter of like, you know, the photo, you know, and, and, and the kind of like impression that we get from that. Naturally, you know, like, yes, people will, will you know, have the inclination to think that, yeah, because they get their mates to carry their bag, so they are getting softer. No, that's, you know, it, it's not true. Uh, because like, I, I still think that, you know, uh, our men in Singapore, they are still quite, yeah, Manly. <laughs> oh, you yeah. think we are? Yeah, yeah so. I do, I do. I do think. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> uh, but do you feel that, isn't it different from during, like, let's say, our our father's times? I mean, the generation yeah. is... Um, of course. The baby boomer generation. Weren't when, when they more, like, hands-on and manly compared to... Carrying your own fuel pack doesn't make you harder as well, actually, think about that, correct? Right? <laughs> true, true, yes. I mean, all, most of us they carry our own fuel pack. What, make, what doesn't make us sweaty and smelly in the train desk or what, correct? Right? Think about it. So yeah. making a mate carry a fuel pack doesn't really make you any softer, actually. It's more in the mind and the heart, I would say. <laughs> During my generation, young boys go around, we play a lot of rough games and, you know, we tumble around, we run around, we sweat in the sun, mm. we play kites, you know. But uh, nowadays, no, they are, they are playing with computer games, you know. And they don't go out to the sun so much. So, in a sense, yeah, they are, they are softer, you know. Right. Yeah. But doesn't that translate to because of how the way, the way the world is right now, there isn't so much a need for us to be so rough and tough and man it up because most yeah, of our yeah, jobs yeah. are like, you know, yeah. requires these kind of skills which are not as physical as perhaps back then. Yep. Zen, what do you feel about? I guess because uh, Zen looks very manly with his uh, <laughs> yeah. so. Yeah. So I don't have money to shave, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, but this. It's more like, I guess, the standard of living of Singapore has risen, ris- rise up to a level that's actually very much compared to, like, the older times. I guess, like, you know, in the 1970s and all this, it's, it's more, there's more blue-collar workers. As compared to right now, there's actually a lot of white-collar workers rather than blue-collar workers. Most of our blue-collar workers are foreign imports. Uh. But it's, it's more like we, we don't have the experience. We de- don't have a need. A plumber can be just a call away. Uh, you know the the locksmith can be a call away, so why do we you know that that it, it elim- basically because of our rise in our standard of living it eliminates the poss- the the chances of us trying to fix it on our own. Uh. But fortunately for Singapore, for the guys, all of them have to do national service. Then whatever they have not, the family, the parents have not done. When they go to the army, the army will do it. And so that's good for them. The army will toughen them up for the parents. Right. So in that sense, the army has made us less soft because when we learn to, I mean, we wash, have to wash toilets, have to like, you know, wash our uniform and stuff. You have to toughen yourself, you have to, your physical fitness has to improve, you have to look tougher. I'm sure if you look at a picture of yourself before you go to a national service and you look at a picture after you come out from national service, you will see a marked difference. The army is supposed to turn boys into men. But it seems some NS men remain naughty little boys. This picture posted on Stomp on 6th of April shows a woman posing sexily in her boyfriend's camouflage uniform. When we are in our uniform, we have like our etiquettes. So like, you know, even like for school children also, like I mean in my school, even though the students are in their uniform and they are outside school, I wouldn't expect them to be like, you know, tucking out their shirts and like, you know, uh, smoking away, <laughs> that kind of thing. Mm. Likewise, for army boy, if you are in your uniform, you have to like, you know, abide by certain kind of etiquette. It's just a very negative image that comes out and some people laugh over it, but uh, there are people who, who are serious about it. While it is the duty of soldiers to respect their uniform and not use it in such a frivolous manner, there are limitations to enforcing such a regulation as the party can always argue that the uniform was purchased separately outside by the girl herself. In the next clip, find out if our studio guests feel our NS training should be tougher. 